Uh, it's not going to be beneficial for them if they're not making money off of these. And coin market caps owned by Binance, right? CZ, I think. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. If you've got stuff with high volume, uh, they'll want to put it on there because it will attract investors and they'll get more views for their website and they can advertise. That would be funny to see if coin market cap could make money off a of pulse chain launch. I'm sure they got like a PR department. It's just like they're like they're biting, they're like, oh, how come we need to prep for pulse chain? <laughs> that would be funny if there's actually they have like daily meetings, part of their meetings, it's like, all right, what do we got on pulse chain? What what's our best strategies to make money? Are we gonna well, you, are we gonna list blah blah blah? Yeah, if you see a if you see pulse chain launch and you see a lot of bots buying up. Now here's the thing too. Everybody's going to get copies. Think about all those copies in cold storage in, in these uh, the wallets of these exchanges. So they're yes. going to have one side. So what they'll probably have to do is get the other side as well. Um, but for the tokens that will create some sort of volume for them, they're going to be happy. They're not going to be happy with Hex because Hex doesn't make them money. They're not going to be happy with Hedron. Hedron is not going to make them money. They're not going to be happy with Pulse Doge probably because at least that's coming out with I, what – Pulse Bitcoin, you have to have Pulse Doge to stake it. That's a sink. Mm -hmm. It sits. This is the new way to do business. They probably aren't going to like us that much, which is, in my opinion, a very good thing. That's going to be something like you, th you think, uh, how long do you think it takes before, you know, maybe there's a lawsuit or something against exchanges that aren't giving people their PRC 20s that are, you know, I, I, I guess it, uh, one factor is if they're worth a lot of money, if they're not. You know, we know, we don't know how Link's going to work out. We don't know how Mana's going to work out. We don't know how certain ones are, but other ones, maybe they, you know, maybe they're worth the, they're worth some money and enough to get enough people excited about, hey, give me my free coins. 2017, 2018, when uh, Bitcoin Cash came out, Coinbase listed it. And uh, I think if they didn't list it, ugh, their customers wouldn't be so happy. So uh, how long do you think it takes before enough value is accrued in the, in the doubling coins before people start demanding you know, their PRC-20s? Bro, it happens all the time. It happens all the time. Think about how many projects launch that target other communities and just give them free tokens, right? And the exchanges never give them up. They never give them to these people's wallets. It's happened now. If there's any community that's willing to go to war, it's going to be our community because we probably have at least enough scratch to bring it to court and to pay for our attorney's fees. You're going up against these giants, but who knows, man? I think that Richard also said that they can see some of the cold storage wallets and they can kind of exclude those from the airdrops. And uh, so that'll help out a little bit. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I wonder if they just exclude the exchanges from uh, from doing it during launch. It's another angle that may, be, uh, uh, may help our community uh, if, if we're for sure that they're not going to get paid out. I, yeah. I didn't thought of that. That's a good one.